man, I can't get enough of this place. So nice. This lake is, is beautiful. Well guys, I made it. Where am I, you ask? I'm at the AEP Recreation Land uh, down in Southern Ohio. What that is, um, I'll fill you in in a, in a little bit. But um, for now, let me give you a tour of well, where I'll be staying uh, tonight. These are pre-designated sites. Um, they're free. You just have to fill out a uh, self-registration, either online, at the entrance of uh, each park, there are, are actually A through K campsites. Uh, each one is separate from the other. This is a 60,000 acre area land. And so it's pretty, pretty big. Tonight, I'll have a creek running behind me, as you can see. Pretty nifty. That'll be a nice water source for drinking later on. Filling up my water bottles. Here will be my fire pit for tonight. Plan on grilling a little bit tonight, so that'll be nice right there. It looks like someone left some wood for me too. As you can see, nice winter color. It's uh, it's almost nightfall. It's starting to get dark. It's winter, it's about five o'clock right now. And I'm gonna light up a fire. Hey, look, someone left some nice firewood there for me. This nice fire ring over there. And uh, get this fire going, cook dinner in a little bit. Just relax and enjoy this awesome, awesome night. I'll check with you guys up in a little bit. But. Holding on as long as it can. It's about 5.30 right now and take a look. Have a little fire going already. Should keep it warm. And I hope to cook my dinner. Some people have been asking if um, uh, the Utan wood stove is too small to cook on. Um, well, if it's too small to do this kind of cooking on, well, let me tell you, uh, it's very doable. This here is just a grate I picked up from, actually my wife had it laying around from an old um, toaster oven that we had. And uh, it seems to work very well on top of this little uh, wood stove. So, just thought I'd show everyone that it is doable. Just keep feeding it wood and, uh, yeah. <laughs> the grate itself, the little grill, it's, I mean, the little uh, uh, rack there is light. Um, I weighed it and it came up to about, I don't want to say it was about five ounces. So it's not the lightest, but if, if you want to grill out, out in the woods, um, you know, it's doable. It's packable. So, all right, hope this helps someone. Good morning, fam. Uh, just got up. It's uh, Saturday morning, and um, it was a cold, cold, cold night. Not sure exactly what it uh, dropped down to, but I definitely felt it. Um, here, let me show you around a little bit. Everything, I mean, everything got frosted. As you can see, my tarp is completely covered in frost. And uh, everything around was also completely frosted. Um, I did get some um, condensation buildup on the inside. But um, for me, uh, I was uh, I was nice and toasty up until uh, I want to say this morning. I think I might have shifted, and um, anyway, the underquilt underneath my feet 
shifted so my feet were a little bit uh, exposed and um, definitely felt it right away and I had to get up and readjust but um yeah, look how nice it looks in the morning here everything serene and a couple of blue jays fly, flying around already, chasing each other. A lot of birds, a lot of wildlife. Definitely hunters around because I, uh, here you go, maybe you heard that. There's definitely some hunting going on right now. These parts is the season. I'm going to start a fire here soon, get some breakfast going. Um, the plan today is to uh, hit the Buckeye Trail up to Camp K. Set up camp, spend the night, and uh, that's the plan for today. So, alright guys, I'll uh, check in with you later. Uh, delicious breakfast here. Have some eggs with some um, Ethan hot dogs. Man, it's looking good, it's smelling good, fire is burning good, getting me warmed up this morning. I actually th checked the thermometer and it read 20 degrees this morning. So, it got a little nippy. So I'm going to have some breakfast, burritos here with some eggs and um, some coffee and hit the trail soon. And this is awesome out here. There's tons of birds in this area. I never... They stuck around so much in the winter time, but they are everywhere. I don't know if you can hear them, but definitely sounded like rain this morning. Just so many of them tromping around in the woods, but uh, it was kind of nice to wake up to that. So let me give you a tour of uh, of my rig here. Um, like I've mentioned before, I love, love, love my Darren hammock. My dream hammocks. Thing is so comfortable. I uh, can't say that enough. Stress it enough. I also love my hammock gear. Econ Zero uh, underquilt. That thing kept me warm uh, already. Uh, last night, I think, might have been the coldest night I've had it out, and um, it was about 20 degrees, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, <clears throat> 20 degrees. It was. We were speculating 28, but it got down to 20 in my, in my thermometer. <clears throat> I have a Trichology little air pillow. This little thing is awesome. Um, you know, I could use it underneath my head. I need a little bit of uh, pressure off my, my back, or I could put it underneath my um, knees. You know, if I feel a little calf ridge for whatever reason, didn't hang my hammock right, or I just need a little, just a little uh, change of uh, position. And it's awesome. It holds its air very well. Um, it's comfortable. It's good design. Not too bulky. And it pecks out real small. Um, I have a DIY over cover that I made for colder weather. It's just another hammock. See the frost right there, but um, it's just another uh, lightweight hammock that I put some bungee through the ends, and I can essentially adjust it anywhere on the uh, ridge line that I want by tightening or loosening the um, um, the bungee here. And this one here just has a little gator plastic little gator. Uh, clip I just hook onto anything up here at the ends and um, prevents it from running at all on top of me or getting snagged up over here as you can see this is brand new this trip these are my uh, Dutch uh, buckles man these things are awesome they're lightweight they're easy to adjust um, held very nice you know no complaints about them Again, I'm getting used to the adjusting portion of it, but um, it was very easy for my first time. So these are my um, Dyneema straps, one-inch straps. 
Um, they are from Myers Tech Chemic Labs. These things are lightweight. I have 15 feet on either side. And um, they don't slide. You know, I was worried that they wouldn't work right with the uh, Dutch buckle. But they work well. No, nothing. Um, nothing happened and it held very well. So, just wanted to show you guys. This is my Gorilla, uh, Chill Gorilla tarp. You've seen them in some of my other videos. And uh, it works. It works well. Very well. You know, after last night especially, I am going to invest in a winter tarp. Um, especially something that has doors and you know, some pullouts. Um, so, that's further down the line, but... For now, this works. Made it work. And I uh, feel comfortable in there. As far as um, quilts go inside, got some Costco quilts. I actually have two of them. And a little fleece. A little piece of fleece. I, like, I, my feet get cold at night. So I just wrap it around my feet. And that's essentially what it's for. Um, actually, one of these quilts has been converted to a top quilt. It's got uh, cinched down here. I'm all cleaned up, packed up, ready to hit uh, the Buckeye Trail. It's a little... We have to walk out of the camp, leave the car here, walk out of the camp, and... Um, get on the trail I'll show you where that is but um, you can see the Sun is just now starting to come up things are just now heating up a little bit it's been frosty all morning um, but we're cleaned up and it's tucked away tarp all tucked away on me on my uh, mesh pocket outside my uh, backpack cuz uh, it's so frosted over I try to wipe them down as best I could this morning but Everything was still a little, a little wet, so we'll be okay. Should dry up during the course of the day. I'll try to extend them, lay them out later. There's a fire ring where I was last night. A nice little spot here. This is Camp H once again. This was a good source of water. Um, although I did not need it because this camp, this uh, the site actually has a um, water pump. Uh, I, I still filtered it out, um, but this would have been nice if, uh, if I needed some, uh, some water. Well, I'm about to hit the trail. Make it all, all the way over to Camp K. I believe it's an eight mile truck set up for the night, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so here is the other end of Camp H where I stayed last night. This is um, the entrance and the exit area. Um, I actually stayed way down the road that way. Um, again, this is a nice camp for families or anyone just wanting to get out. Um, no electricity, although I did see the host family, I believe, had electricity and I think another uh, site down down at the end but um you know it's primitive camping they have, like i said they have water supplied in uh, in a tank i mean uh, in a pump so um it's always a good thing they have latrines as bathrooms no uh, flushable toilets or anything like that but if anyone's interested this is a very nice nice site anyways i'm on my way out of the camp this is the way I was told the Buckeye Trail um, starts in uh, the direction towards Camp um, Camp K. As you can see, my Camp H right here. So you gotta trek it on a road for just a quick section here, um, and that's where Camp. Uh, I mean, the Buckeye Trail starts. 
Very nice day. The sun is coming out. It's starting to warm up. Everything's drying. <laughs> Hopefully enough. Um, so it'll be nice and comfortable tonight. Oh, uh, there's a, some old foundations to something here. Huh. It's pretty neat. I'm at the top of this road here. That's where a Camp H entrance was, where I stayed last night. And if you look this way, up the road, the entrance to the Buckeye Trail. It's right here. It's a little kiosk, letting everyone know uh, where it begins. Also, a little self-registration. Um, it was empty, but I believe it's just for the same registration as the AEP um, re recreation area requires, not for the trail itself. Um, speaking of the AEP, it's pretty neat. Here we go, blazes, blazes, perfect. If you can see it, Buckeye Trail, Robin Blue uh, markings. Okay, so back in the 40s, this was a mining um, area. Once it was all mined, the AEP um, had actually saved the topsoil they had stripped away while mining and uh, once that was all over and they weren't mining it no more they actually put the soil back um, they planted I think they said something like six million trees they put in multiple lakes fishing um, there's some larger lakes smaller ponds uh, everything was stocked there's hunting here, there's fishing. Um, the Buckeye Trailer actually runs through it. It's nice, it's a nice place to uh, come and visit for sure. Chills doesn't seem too bad. It's been raining, looks like, down here. Um, the leaves are all wet and the ground's a little mushy, but this ought to be a lot of fun, guys. A lot of forest scenery for sure. Seems like everything is pretty well defined as far as the trail goes. I know there's a lot of horse trails that run through here too, but um, everything seems pretty well marked, even as far as that goes. Okay, well, let me uh, check out for now and uh, I'll fill you guys in on the rest of the day in a little bit. All right, go for mode activated. <laughs> Thanks, Shug. I like Shug. He's always got the coolest advice. Hey, guys. So, as you can tell, I wore my yellow, bright yellow, um, pack cover. A couple of reasons why. <laughs> well, it's the only pack cover I have right now, and I really like my... ULA 2 ohm that I wanted to uh, that I want to take care of as long as I can but more importantly this time of the year um, I wore it because I don't want to get shot like I said there's tons of uh, there's tons of hunters out here and uh, you know most of my equipment is neutral colors woodsy colors and I don't want to be mistaken by a delicious looking deer um, so do the same when you go out this time of the year um, you know don't be <laughs> don't be easy target walking through the woods hopefully this uh, yellow is bright enough that they can uh, differentiate me 
from uh, from the deer. So, all right, guys. This trail is looking nice today. Sun is coming out. Um, the weather's picking. Temperature's picking up. I feel a little toasty. I might actually take this uh, um, jacket jacket off. Some sections are very uh, muddy, like I said, Whew. slippery. Beautiful lakes all throughout the trail. Like I said already, definitely try to make it out this way if you get a chance. If you're in the area, it's beautiful. Low miles. Unless you want to Stay on the uh, Buckeye Trail. <laughs> you get your miles in if you go all the way through Ohio. But um, as far as this section, between camps K and H, um, it's only about eight miles. And um, nice walk, nice camps. There was a host family actually at Camp H. We'll see if there's one at Camp K. I noticed on the website it said that the AP closes sec several uh, camps for the uh, for the season, for the winter. I'm not sure which ones they are. I've, I haven't seen that posted anywhere anywhere yet. But um That being said, hopefully Kemp K is open, huh? <laughs> Since I'm headed that way. Now, shh, don't tell anyone. We may have to do a little stealth camping. All right, guys. Can I enjoy the uh, fresh air a little bit more? And uh, talk to you. If you're worried about um, water sources um, on this trail, um, you really don't have to worry too much. Um, as you can see, you run across these little streams or uh, creeks every so often. I counted, I think, three so far. And, um, you know, run, water runs nice and clear. If you stir it up, you know, it tends to get a little dirty. So if you're trying to collect water to filter out, just keep that in mind. Filter out the top. Uh, water because it's moving and it doesn't have all those sediments mixed in it so um, all right here we go another little crossing um, trying to stay as dry as I can here one thing that's awesome is as I'm walking I come up on these big openings like this um, I don't know if you can see over there in the distance there's a small pond um, which led to a bigger lake up the uh, up the trail here. This is a small section of uh, um, gravel road that the trail came upon. Um, but this is uh, really really cool the way that um, the EP has opened up a lot of hunting lands. I'm just trails and tons of hunting trails you know not including the this buckeye trail that runs through there runs through here um, so there's definitely something for everyone passed up a section there that was just it's just full of uh hunters all you could see was orange vests and orange hats um, just 
in the trees on the ground it was hilarious <laughs> kind of reminded me of uh, like Looney Tunes but um must be a good section for for hunting but you know what something that really uh, surprised me this morning was the fact that I was uh, turning a bend in up I don't know I want to say maybe 50 feet from the bend on the trail I uh, ran into I don't know if it was a little lynx or a little bobcat I'm not sure what it was bobcat maybe a little one um, but <laughs> kind of just stopped in the path sideways turned his head looked at me I looked at him I just stopped and uh, he kept going like uh, like nothing ever happened <laughs> but um that was a nice little wildlife encounter this morning but other than that temperature is about 49 right now uh, according to my thermometer that's about the high for today should be another crisp night tonight gonna definitely hit the sack really really nice um, after this hike today you know the cold temperatures because it just kind of zaps zaps the energy out of you a little quicker than when it's not this chilly um, no complaints just something to keep in mind when you're uh, winter backpacking but, um, looks like this uh, road winds a little bit further down ahead there I'll keep uh, looking for the opening according to my map there should be another opening for the uh, Buckeye Trail to separate from this um, little gravel road here there are some really nice sections of woods on this Buckeye Trail take a look fallen trees that have been there for a long time uh, nice moss grown on them Little creek beds down there at the bottom. Got a little bit of everything. Um, there are sucks, uh, some segments, sections that I noticed that come springtime or come time for foliage. Um, it might be a little overgrown. So you will have to. Uh, definitely make your way through that like I was saying definitely some hunting going around here I'll pick that guy up dispose of him properly but all in all this trail is uh, really nice it's probably not a bad time to do it too I've been running um, you know, for the most part, the Buckeye Trail is marked by one um, blue line. When you see double, make sure you pay attention to uh, a change in um, in direction. From what I've noticed, yep, sure enough, from what I've noticed, whenever that double line is uh, present, I don't know if you can see it, but right over there, there's um, the continuation of the trail. Also, I noticed that whenever, let me go back here so I can show you. Whenever there's one line here and another one will be offset, usually it's to the right or to the left. That depends on which way the trail is going to split off or which way you should go. Um, just be mindful of that. Um, it would definitely help <laughs> in uh, not getting lost. Um, if you go to the Buckeye Trail website, they have all the markings and the meanings of them posted so it's that's just something else um, to keep in mind they did a very they've done a very well job of uh, cutting up logs in the way of the path way of the trail awesome day awesome scenery like this humongous tree it looks like it's been hollowed out for a long time huh it's crazy is it? it looks like it had a ton of leaves on it this still the summer so <laughs> wow 
Wow, that's impressive. Okay guys, I'll check in with you uh, a little bit. Okay. Find these entrances off these gravel roads and you start up back through the woods. Beautiful, fuel, uh, beautiful, beautiful areas here. Very dense and trees and Hi right, guys, while well, I'm pulling up to uh <laughs> pulling up walking into camp area K. Ah uh, not too bad of a hike. I don't have a GPS reading or anything like that. Don't have uh didn't uh, start any app on my phone or um, an actual GPS unit. Just using map and my my compass. It's fairly simple to follow um, this trail, and like you can see, these markings are very very well done. At least in this section of the Buckeye Trail. Here's some water running up front here. Huh. Nice little stream down there. Wow, that's perfect for a uh, deer to go drink or uh, some other animal. Good place for a hunter to be, too. That's awesome. So, made it to camp. I don't know, it took me about Two and a half hours, two and a half hours, I think, to make it from Camp H to Camp K. Pulling up now, and uh, we'll see what this camp looks like. Supposedly, it's bigger than Camp H. But we will see very shortly here. Oh, nice. Pine forest area on the trail and seen that hadn't seen pine forest area this whole trail has just been very dense it's just woods no open pines but this is nice nice break from that beautiful day weather leveled off around 50 ish Nice open field over there. Trail continues. So this is Camp K. It's really cool. Comes down the path, the lake over here. Wow, it's really nice. said it must be a good place for hunting because there's a lot of hunters here all right we made it gonna set up camp I haven't even had lunch yet <laughs> how's it going bud check it out guys loving it Need two trees, nice view, I'll be happy. It's already a nice view. What do you guys think? Wow, the road keeps going too, so there must be another section. I think there is according to the map, so um, let me find a good spot and set up. Awesome, guys. 
man, I can't get enough of this place. So nice. This lake is, uh, is beautiful. Definitely fishing it. Been watching them jump up and uh, out. <laughs> um, so, uh, just got here, this camp, walked around a couple um, different sections of the camp itself. And uh, this is Camp K. There's an outhouse there. There's a water faucet or pump right over there. That's the only other camper at this section of the uh, um, of this camp. So it'll be nice and quiet over here tonight. I'm gonna be staying up in this little ridge right here between those trees. As you can see. This is a little bit uphill. Definitely going to try to come back in the summer because this is awesome. Awesome, and it's free, you know, as far as family camping goes. Um, this would be a great place to come. Spend a week or something like that. To do fishing and hiking and all that good stuff. Well, this is gonna be my uh, Picnic table, a little fire ring someone designated already. Again, I'll be hanging from these trees. What a view, huh? What a view. All right, not too bad of a hike. Everything was very, very well marked um, on the Buckeye Trail. No issues at all. So guys, time to set up camp. I'm gonna get relaxed and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Man, guys, it's December 1st, winter, and uh, this is the weather. <laughs> I can hang with that. It's beautiful. Well, this end of the camp is pretty empty. Well, I should say it is empty. Well, except me. The other end, uh, I think, had um, two sites uh, taken. And again, these are first come, first serve. Each each site has a uh, its own picnic table, trash can. You just pull in, fill out the. Uh, self-registration uh, page either online or I've noticed that both camps um, had them available multiple spots in the camp and even along the uh, even along the Buckeye Trail this is kind of neat Looks like they're growing some new grass there. Make it really nice for uh, next season. Nice grassy. Tomorrow's hike out should be fairly quick. Um, took me two and a half hours today. And that was me lallygagging, stopping, <laughs> taking pictures and recording and just learning the trail. So hope to cut that down, hike out and go home. This is a, uh, this is my birthday weekend. Actually, this trip was uh, my wife's idea. She said, hey, why not take a uh, backpacking trip for yourself uh, for your birthday? And guess what? I did. And I uh, just want to say thank you to my beautiful wife. So I was thinking, think of these little details that sometimes I just don't just overlook. Hey, this is kind of cool. Little dock. 
<laughs> Gotta say, it looks iffy. Uh, should I? Shouldn't I? Let me win that. Ooh. Beautiful lake. All the lakes say do not swim in them. And I um, think I'll uh, follow those uh, rules, especially today. But um, it would be awesome to go fishing or kayaking. Um, you know, just rowboating, whatever you want to do, canoe. Nice lake. All these reeds and plants along the edge of the lake here. And this is awesome. Someone left a whole stack of uh, stack of these things here. Huh. Little extra firewood, anyone? That's awesome. Have to swing by here, pick some up. Maybe I get a nice fire tonight. Keep me warm. This must be beautiful in the uh, summer. You have these little bird houses. Oh, I'm everywhere. I imagine this place comes alive with wildlife in the summer months. Here's some more. Some more campsites. Another outhouse. And that's what they are. They're pretty much, <laughs> they're basically a uh, toilet over a big hole. So as a backpacker, I mean, that's a luxury, you know, compared to a cat hole. But um, if it's someone who uh, likes flushable toilets and such, they might have a little little problem with it <laughs> but um, it's not bad at all they're actually fairly clean here's another campsite right here firing right on the edge of the uh, lake and what do we have here a brake rotor <laughs> um not sure exactly what the story is behind that one but um if it fell off a car there were some major issues or if someone decided to do a brake service here wow it's kind of impressive but shame on them for leaving it there <laughs> and i will not carry that brake rotor out if anyone's wondering uh, let me pick it up and put it in a trash barrel, though. Guys, okay, see the sun? Let's take a look. Over the horizon. Um, I have about an hour, hour 15 minutes of uh, sunlight left, it looks like. Probably a good time for me to start getting a fire going and grabbing some firewood from uh, these sources that I've seen. But I just wanted to show you guys what it's like here. It's beautiful. I would definitely want to return, check out some of the other camps. 
this is the bicentennial camp and uh, each camp has its own letter assignation and also its own name I'm not continuing that way even though it continues a couple of reasons sun's going down and that's where the two other campsites are that people have uh, have uh, occupied so I'm just gonna turn around and head back but like I was saying each campsite has uh, its own letter and name this is the bicentennial camp there is one I would like to go to I guess it has the remains of uh, well supposedly the biggest drag line and it's the one they used when they were mining here it's supposed to be pretty big I guess it could fit two full size um, buses in it yeah it's pretty big further north of here is an area called the wilds um, it's, it's a partner of the um, the Columbus Zoo in Jack Hanna so it's a pretty um, pretty well thought out um, area it's, um, in short from what I gather from reading and everything um, and researching it's a uh, basically a huge zoo but everything roams wild as if in the wild you know giraffes and lions and all that stuff so you're able to um, take a safari at you know you may say um, they have different modes of transportation actually when I worked at the uh, Jaguar um, Land Rover in particular the, the dealership they used to bring their customers there to run them through obstacles really teach them how to you know handle different terrains with their vehicle so it's a, you know it sounds like a really nice place to visit um, thinking about doing it and Maybe it sounds interesting to you. Check it out. But uh, I'm going to head in, pick up some wood, maybe catch a little bit more of the scenery before the sun goes down. And um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, uh, I made it. Made it back to Camp H. Um, it's five, what is it, five forty-five right now. So it took me um, a little over two hours to make it all the way back. I'm on the road now, but um, tell you what, solo hiking in the dark keeps you focused. Plus, there's no, not much to uh, look at as far as scenery. So it's one foot in front of the other, trying to not to uh, get lost, just follow the trail and, um, and the um, trail bla blazers. Try to catch them and um, without missing them. I missed a couple and had to backtrack um, just a small section. But um, I'll tell you what, it was an awesome, awesome trip this weekend. The EA AEP recreation lands, the campgrounds are awesome. Um, you know, there's uh, a couple more that. Well, A through K, like I said, and I only went to two of them, so there's definitely a, a reason for me to come back to explore some of the other ones. The Buckeye Trail was awesome, like I said, all the markings were great, uh, the, they were, it was clear. So yeah, 
all in all, awesome trip. Glad I was able to come out here. And um, look forward to our next adventure. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, I'll talk to you later.